Welcome. My name is Carolyn Hoover. I use pronouns like she, her, and hers. I'm the Dean of Humanities and Social Sciences. It is my high honor and distinct privilege to welcome you to our Honor Scholars Celebration. Congratulations to you, to your friends, and to your families. This is also a milestone for me. I had the honor of welcoming you into the Honors Program, and now I have the privilege of celebrating with you as you complete the program. We're here to celebrate your past accomplishments, and we're here to wish you well as you move forward. You may feel the, the future is uncertain, and you may be wondering what your future will be. The future is always an unknown, and that's been true for every Honor Scholars class. You may be feeling that it's truer for you, Honor Scholars Class of 2020, the COVID-19 class. Everything in life is uncertain. Everything in life is a risk. This is a moment in time for you to take the risk and rise to the challenge and say, I survived COVID-19. This is something you will put on your resume. You will include in your cover letters for years to come. People will admire you for your grit and for your perseverance. They will be inspired by your ability to create, to innovate, and your ability to move forward. So welcome and congratulations, Honor Scholars 2020. Welcome, Honor students, faculty, staff, family, and friends to the Honors Scholars Award Celebration Virtual Edition. My name is Heidi Lockhart, and I'm director of the Honors Program at Mount San Antonio College, one of the largest programs in the state of California. In this video, we are celebrating our Honors students' accomplishments, specifically those students who are transferring and or graduating and who have completed Honors Scholar Certification. This certification includes completing at least 15 units of honors courses with at least a 3.2 transferable GPA overall and in those honors courses. When you began your journey at Mount SAC, the challenges you faced were unique. You came from all walks of life and those countless experiences provided rich and diverse perspectives. Some of you are single parents. Some of you are re-entry students. Some of you are dreamers. Some of you are veterans, access students, former foster youth. Some of you have always been honor students, while some of you have worked tirelessly to change your trajectory. You're resourceful, dedicated, driven, and resilient. As part of the honors program, you succeeded together. You motivated one another, shared notes, held study groups, and helped each other rise up. Rise up. You are trailblazers. Groundbreakers. Trendsetters. You are graduating and transferring in the middle of a pandemic. No one has accomplished what you have accomplished. You are redefining success. And these accolades are not yours alone. They also belong to your families and those who have supported you along the way. As you are transitioning and finishing your time at Mount SAC, know that you have already reached a level of success that is indicative of what's to come. Honor students, you all are going amazing places and doing amazing things, and we could not be prouder of you. To your parents, family, and friends who have supported you through the journey, I salute you. You have been the rocks, the support system, the village that has made our honor students successful. Honor students, don't forget to thank them. Hello, honor students. Congratulations on your accomplishments. My name is Janice Sewell, and as one of the honors program counselors, I've been given the privilege to pass along some words of advice. And my advice to you is simple. Stay true to yourself and your values. Balance your already strong work ethic with self-care. And above all, spread kindness. Our world needs it right now. Hi, everyone. This is Belle Cavasarella, one of your honors counselors. From the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to say congratulations to you all on a job well done. Um, I also wanted to share my top three transfer survival tips. 
first and foremost, find your support group, relate, make those connections, and just let it come naturally. Second, just take it all in, explore your new college, explore the community and everything that it has to offer. And lastly, remember and embrace that the college chose you for a reason. Find what inspires you and continue to make us proud. You will always be part of the Mount Sac and Honors family. Enjoy every moment, every experience, and celebrate every milestone, no matter how small. Hey, Honors family. We just wanted to congratulate you on your achievements. As former Mount Sac Honors students ourselves, you know a little bit of what's ahead. So we just wanted to give you guys a couple pieces of advice. For one, it's okay to take a break. Find some moments of peace within your day. It will help you prevent burnout and keep you running longer. Absolutely. The other thing is don't be afraid to try new things and have new experiences. The world is bigger than what, you, what we all know, and you never know what things are out there if you don't go out and look. Yeah, and friendships will change. Some will get stronger, others will dwindle. Keep in touch with the people who are important to you. Relationships of all sorts require maintenance, and too many of us are waiting for the other person to, to message first. The last thing is as you graduate and transfer, never be afraid to put yourself out there and create new relationships. This is a new chapter in your life, and you are bound to create a new family out there like the one you have in honors. Hi, honor students. I wanted to share a meaningful quote on this momentous occasion. Graduation is only a concept. In real life, every day you graduate. Graduation is a process that goes on until the last day of your life. If you can grasp that, you'll make a difference. This quote is by Ari Pinkovici. And although I hadn't heard of him before, this quote really grabbed my attention. Walking across a stage or hearing your name called during this video celebration feels really great. And you should be very, very proud. But it is a finite moment. It has a beginning and an end. But graduation is really about so much more. Every day, if we're open-minded, we can learn something new. Everyone we meet has something to teach us if we're open to learning. Every day we face obstacles and challenges and we try to overcome them. Every day we're given the choice to react with love and compassion or to react with judgment and disdain. Every day we're given the opportunity to learn to love ourselves just a little bit more. Approaching life as a series of daily graduations is the difference between success and failure. And you, my inspiring honor students, are the epitome of success. Even though we've had to hold this celebration virtually this year due to the COVID-19 situation, our excitement and congratulations are not dimmed by the circumstances. <laughs> oh no, honor students, we are not going to let some teeny tiny virus outshine your big accomplishments. You are spectacular. You are hashtag honor strong. Congratulations. You did it. We wish you nothing but the best and enjoy the journey. We look forward to seeing all of your accomplishments. Good luck in all you do. I know you're destined to do wonderful things. We hope you'll come back to Mount Sac and tell us about it sometime. So let the celebration begin.
been asked to leave you with some words of wisdom as you go out to your transfer universities. And um, I'd like to do a, a little bit of a thought experiment with you. What I want you to do is think about that university you're going to and that hard program that you no doubt are, are excited about going to. And I want to think, I want you to think about yourself realistically. Realistically, what are the problems that you're, you're going to face? What are those things about you that's going to make it hard to uh, achieve there? I mean, really, realistically, think about your faults and your, your ideas. And just think about them. Well, um, if I were going to do it, say, sometimes I'm not all that bright. Sometimes I, um, am, I, I try to do things that I don't have the skills to do. Those kind of things. Think, think of it that way. And I'm not going to give you a lot of time to think about it. I want you to think about it. And then rather than using the word I, I would like you to look at this child. Okay. This child's name is John. And in fact, uh, this child is me uh, in, when I was five years old in 1976. Rather than saying, uh, I am sometimes not all that intelligent, or I sometimes can't achieve, I would you like you to change that word to John. And I want you to say those things to that child. John, sometimes you're not all that bright. It's just like a little kid. Actually, back then I was Johnny. Johnny, sometimes you, you, you don't uh, finish what you, you try. Sometimes, Johnny, you, you, you are just kind of a loser, right? Those sorts of things that you think about yourself, say it to the child. Now, chances are right now, you're thinking about that and say, I could never say that to a child. Well, if you can't say it to a child, I want you to remember that. If you can't say it to the child, you should not be saying it to yourself. Sometimes when we think about those things, think about ourselves realistically, or we think that we're thinking about ourselves realistically, we're not being realistic at all. We're erring on the side of self-harm. As you go forward into these new, new programs, you're going to get there and you're going to see all these people who seem to have it all together, who, who seem to have it figured out. What they have is a lot of privilege and self-confidence. Okay. When you start feeling worried, I want you to start thinking realistically about yourself and realize how unrealistic that is, right? If you can't say it to little Johnny, then you shouldn't be able to say it to yourself. What I know about you is that you're extraordinary, that you succeed in extraordinary times. I'm teaching classes right near my, among COVID. People are doing heroic sorts of things. You people are doing heroic things. You are achieving, you're going beyond, you're doing everything that you can do. Sometimes you're gonna fall down, right? Sometimes you make errors. It's not a big deal. Those errors are also what we call learning, right? If you didn't do so great during this time of COVID, it's all right, right? Don't feel as though this is some sort of um, destiny that you're, you're gonna to go towards, right? You are extraordinary. The things that you can accomplish are extraordinary. Those times when you haven't succeeded are not lack of success, they're learning, right? So as you go towards Berkeley or Cal Poly or Fullerton or um, Stanford or wherever you're going, please keep that in mind. You're an extraordinary person and what you're doing is growing. Okay. I'm proud of you all.
Congratulations, Honor Scholars. I am so proud of you and all that you've accomplished. And I am positive that as you go on to the next college or university, that you will continue to do great things. So believe in yourself. You are really special. I have enjoyed teaching you. It's been my honor and privilege. You make classes fun and interesting. I want to leave you with a little story. Years, years ago, at dinner one night, my daughter, who was five, was very excited about going on a field trip to the farm. My son, who had been on that same field trip five years earlier, gave her this advice, make sure you milk the cow. We were all a little confused about what that meant, but he went on to explain that when he was on that field trip, all the kids were given the opportunity to try to milk the cow but he was too shy and afraid to, to milk the cow. And he said he always regretted not doing it. So my advice to you is make sure you take advantage of every opportunity you're offered. Make sure you try to learn new fields, new things, join clubs, join new activities that you've never tried before. Immerse yourself into your new college environment. And find a mentor, seek out a mentor. And most of all, make sure you milk that cow. Congratulations. Yeah.
Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Hey everyone, it's Roger. I just wanted to say congratulations on accomplishing all of your transfer goals and I want to wish you the best of luck wherever you go after Mount San Antonio College. It was an honor and a privilege to get to teach you in some of your undergraduate coursework and don't be a stranger, come back and see us again when you are very important and famous and amazing, even more amazing than you already are. Now wait till you get older But the media men beg to differ Judging by the hole in the satellite picture The ice we skate is getting pretty thin The water's getting warm so you might as well swim But world's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it and I'll never get bored Hey now, you're an all-star Get your game on, go play Hey now, you're a rock star Get the show on, get paid I'm Andrea Diem in the philosophy department and I teach a lot of honors classes and I have for years and I have to say I am so incredibly impressed with the honors students and so happy for your journeys that you're heading towards. You're going to be heading off to some amazing schools, some universities that are some of the best in the world. You're going to UCLA and you're going to UCI and you're going to San Diego and Berkeley. Um, yay, go Bears, and you're going to be heading to uh, USC and oh, UC Davis, of course. I know some of you are going to Davis, so I'm just so, so dearly proud of you. And this journey that you're heading towards is just going to be amazing. You guys are going to make such superstars. Um, Ralph Waldo Emerson said that all life is an experiment, and the more experiments we make, the better. And now you're going off to the biggest and best experiment. And I know it's going to be such a success for you. I am just touched by all your just amazing, brilliant minds. And, and just are, you're an inspiration for me. That's all I have to say. You're a great inspiration for me. So I just wish you the best in life. I absolutely do. And thank you for everything you've contributed to Mount Zach. You've made the college even a better place to work. Namaste, everybody. Be well. always a crazy one broke into the stadium and i wrote your number on the 50 yard line you were always a perfect one and a valedictorian so 
Under your number I wrote Come for a good time I only wanted to get your attention But you overlooked me somehow Besides you had too many boyfriends to mention And I played my guitar too loud How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Now that I'm on my way You still think I'm crazy Standing here today I couldn't make you love me But I always dreamed about Living in your radio How do you like me now? When I took off to Tennessee, I heard that you made fun of me Never imagined I'd make it this far Then you married in the money, girl, ain't it a cruel and funny world? He took your dreams and he tore them apart He never comes home and you're always alone And your kids hear you cry down the hall Clock starts ringing, who could that be singing? It's me, baby, with your wake up call. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Now that I'm on my way, you still think I'm crazy. Standing here today, I couldn't make you love me, but I always dreamed about living in your radio. How do you like me now? One of the biggest questions in life, what does the future hold for you? On our first day of school, many of us came to Mount Sac with an idea of how our experience would unfold. And I can bet many of you will admit your time here is vastly different than the one you imagined. Yet, it is important to remember one's dream is constantly evolving, rising, falling, and changing course. The person we were on our first day will not necessarily be the same person who we are on our last day. For many, your friends change, major change, and you were introduced to new ideas and concepts. However, we have one thing in common. We took a risk and joined the honors program. Some of us were excited as they were taking AP classes before they could even walk. But others like myself were terrified as I barely graduated from high school. But fear quickly disappeared as the honors program became something more than just a program that we could put on our college transcripts. We took honors courses in smaller classes that gave us relationships with our professors and classmates, creating bonds in the making that make ionic bonds look weak. We even said these were the easiest and best classes because of the environment that was set out for us. It not just created friendships that would last a lifetime, but we made the honors center a second home, abusing the amount of times we can make counseling appointments and how loud we can be before Heidi or someone in the front desk has to tell us to calm down. A great mentor of mine once told me, We are a product of our environment. And as I look back on my time as an honor student, I now know what she means. We are a reflection of who we surround ourselves with and what we call home. And that is why being an honor student meant that much more. As a Mount Sac Student Honor Ambassador, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for the amazing professors, the wonderful counselors, and the outstanding work Heidi and everyone else does that goes unnoticed. Sometimes it is a thankless job, But truthfully, we are all thankful for it because without it, none of us would be transferring out here today. But a bit of advice we can all live by. 
be kind, love one another, and put yourself in a position to excel academically rather than a position of failure. You would be challenged many times along the way, but the pain you face is one needed for growth. The needs to be transformed through community, through effort, through self-worth, and yes, through tenderness. The pain should not be numbed out because numbing keeps things the same. It is your time to create your future, so keep the faith. I would like to speak on behalf of all Student Honor Ambassadors when I say we believe in every single one of you. We will miss you and wish you all nothing but the best. There are countless memories we shared with one another as Honor students. From visiting UC Irvine to participating in research opportunities like HTTC, joining PTK, seeing how talented all of us were at our talent show, going to Amy's Farm, and countless workshops and events the Honors Program hosted. But even if you did none of that, we will always have the experience of taking Honors classes and becoming Honors certified. Use this day as a stepping stone when life gets hard, because it will. So you can look back and see how far you've truly come. I want to end this by saying, at a certain point, we must all move on. But it is our hope from the Honors Program that we give you the gift of knowledge, experience, and most of all, love. Whatever your future holds, be true to yourself, love yourself, and lastly, trust the process. Thank you, class of 2020. I won't give up.